Been hot. Good job. to Kimball for weekend at number two of the AI process. We've got a full car today. We've got Jake over here driving. We've got Kate. This is Jake's little sister. And we've got our sweet boy Bravo. We are going to make a pit stop in Fort Morgan because Jake ripped his pants. So follow along with us for the weekend. We're out here on weekend number two of the AIing process. We've got the boys loading up the cows. They're getting through the chute. We're catching a weight for them. Um, we've got this app that we're tracking all of their weights. And then uh, we are giving them a shot and then letting them back into the pasture. So thanks for following along. All right, so we're bringing them through the chute holding them right here grabbing a weight and then they're going into this and we're giving them a shot for the second round of the AI in process this is the app that we're using I can list the name of it down below and I type in their tag number the cows jump on the scale and I hit record and that's gonna be tracking all our weights for us Sixteen fifty nine tag number. All right, nine eighty four. Got her.
I'm going to talk a little more in depth about the specifics of the AIing process. We decided to use the 7 and 7 sync protocol to artificially inseminate our herd. Here's a schematic on the screen so you can hopefully follow along with what I'm saying. Starting on day zero, which was our week one video, the cows were given a shot of prostaglandin F2 alpha and a CIDR device was inserted. Uh, that stands for Controlled Internal Drug Release. The device releases the hormone progesterone to synchronize the cow's cycles so that they can all be AI'd at one time. And that device stays in for 14 days. On day seven, which you saw in this video, a shot of gonadotropin releasing hormone was administered and the CIDR stayed in place. Then on day 14, which was also a part of this video, the cows received another shot of the prostaglandin F2 alpha and the CIDR was taken out. On day 17, which unfortunately we do not have a video of, we were not able to make it out to Kimball for this one. But at 60 hour, 66 hours after the CIDR removal, another shot of gonadotropin releasing hormone was administered and the AIing was performed. We ordered semen from a ranch in Texas that raises 100% Wagyu bulls. So hopefully our cows will be 50% Wagyu. 
So that about sums up the AIing process that we used and we will let you know the su success of it in another video. Thanks. Okay? Yep. Did you hit you? <laughs>